Hi, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out today. Um, we just finished our practice a few minutes ago, and I'll reiterate what Kirk said. It doesn't feel like a fall season right now. It's a little blustery, a little blowy, but uh, we had a good couple practices. We start yesterday with the ladies, um, and it was uh, fantastic. Couldn't ask for a better two days. Guys are coming in fresh. Guys seem to have played a lot during the uh, summer, which is a good feeling. Something you always want to see as a coach is um, them practicing their craft outside of their season. So that's a good thing. Um, I think we had a good off season. Uh, we picked up five freshmen, five very good freshmen. Probably the pick of those freshmen is uh, Kayla, Kayla Rushi from Waverly, Iowa. She won the state championship early this year. She's very familiar with Wartburg. Um, I've been coaching with her for a few years um, as her private coach, and so um, it's a nice familiar feel for her, and she knows all the ladies, so that's a good bonus. Um, Alexis Camp from Keokuk, she is a three-time state qualifier, uh, big, strong doubles lady, um, knows how to get to net, knows how to be attacking, um, so she's a bonus. And then Greta Nelson from Northfield, Minnesota, also a state qualifier in Minnesota, which is, um, I, I guess, a step up, you'd say, the Minnesota State Tournament over the Iowa Tournament. And so she's played some good tennis for a long time, has attended the TLC camps at Gustavus, attended the baseline camp. So she knows tennis very well, um, and she's made an immediate impact to us. Uh, we didn't lose much last year. Uh, we, our captain, Emily Rasmussen, graduated, and that was the only one from the starting lineup that moved on, uh, which was a big bonus for us, I think. Um, and we have replaced her and more uh, with this incoming freshman class. Um, we uh, went eight and three in our fall season last year, a 13 and 10 overall season after the spring. And I think we're looking to replicate that and then go a little further to, we came up short against Luther last year, 5-4. We came up short against uh, Upper Iowa, 5-4, who's a Division II team. Um, we actually went on to the national tournament over there, and so they were a solid team. And so we're looking to kind of close those deals. Uh, we had a massive incoming freshman class last year. A lot of them got playing time, and you could see kind of the inexperience starting to get to them early in the season when we lost a couple of those matches. So I think they're going to start to close those matches. Uh, in terms of goals for the season, obviously every year we're looking to win that conference title. Co and Luther, as ever, are as, uh, uh, strong competitors. Um, they'll probably be picked to come one and two over there with us pushing for three with Central. Um, but I think that we're ahead of Luther. I think we can beat Co this year. Um, and I think we have the team to do that. So I'm pretty excited for that, get back to the national tournament for the first time in a very, very long time. Um, uh, our captains this year are Marissa Baresh, Liz Rucker, both Waverly girls, uh, and Carly Sis um, from uh, Western Iowa. And uh, they are doing great. Carly Sis is pushing for her spot in the lineup for the first time. She's been on the team for about four years now. She's always been in that 6-7 spot. And now she's started to put some work in over the summer and is looking great. Uh, Kayla Keithy is back again. She was freshman of the year for the conference um, and had a phenomenal run. She played number two for us last year, and she'll be looking to jump into that one or two spot again this year um, and dominate just the way she, she normally does. She is a ferocious competitor. Um, either way, we have either Kayla Keithy or Kat Ross at our one spot over there. Um, and Kat's held down that spot for three years now, and so she is experienced. I expect her to be... Uh, pushing for conference honors at the conference tournament and hopefully winning all that this year, um, which will be a good thing for our program, I think. Um, we have a, a different season um, with Melissa Davis, who is away on an internship for the fall season, and then she comes back during the spring season, while Marissa Baresh heads off to Australia for the spring season and is not yet for the fall season. So there's never really a point that I have all my best six players on the court but again, with that freshman group that we have coming through, I think somebody's going to fit into those spots pretty easily. And I think we're just lucky to have the group that we do. Any questions? I know there's lots about tennis. Puzlowski. Uh, talk a little about Kayla, obviously a state champion, a uh, really hard worker, having watched her all this year. Um, talk about her a little bit and her potential and possibly steal some playing time, especially with not having all the top six players. Um, at the same point in time yep. during the fall season.
Yeah, uh, you're, you're right. Kayla Rushi is a special player, and uh, uh, we're so excited to have her in Waverly. I think what her and some of the other girls are doing for Waverly Tennis and what the high school is doing for Waverly Tennis is a good thing, and it, it pays off with those state champions that we have this year, so that's a bonus. Yeah, Kayla's coming in. Um, she already fired up on the first day um, and was uh, came in fast and hard. We did a beep test yesterday. She went further and harder than anybody else. Um, she's um, going to be a strong player. I'm hesitant to put her very high up in the lineup. I want to make sure that uh, she's getting her wins where she's supposed to get her wins against the girls she's supposed to. Kayla has a habit of playing top ladies who hit very, very hard, very well, and then will kind of play down to ladies that aren't maybe at her level. So we're working a lot on the mental aspect of Kayla, um, but I think she's going to be strong for years to come. Um, I'm hoping that she slides into our number two double spot, possibly with Liz Rucker, who's held our number one double spot before. Also a Waverly girl, they played together a few years ago at high school when Kayla was a uh, sophomore and Liz was a senior. Um, and so I'd like to kind of renew that partnership over there. But Kayla's going to be an important part for us. Thanks, Tyler. And then the, that relationship with, you know, so many members of the team, Waverly, Buckles, Burris, Kayla, uh, Liz Rucker, um, Got to be kind of, I guess, a good feeling for you as a coach, knowing that all these girls know each other and played with each other before they got here. Yeah, and again, that's a testament to what we have going on in Waverly. Excellent high school coaches and Scott Gerard, Kim Berlant, they're doing a phenomenal job. But people seem to be more interested in tennis, and I'm doing a lot more recruiting closer to home. A lot more recruiting, yeah. A lot more recruiting close to home. And... Uh, it's, it's a nice feeling. But, yeah, that relationship counts. I think tennis, more than any other sport, you know, you're out there alone a lot of the time and you have to fight things off. And so having somebody to go to after the match to talk to about those things is a good thing. And we certainly have a phenomenal group of Waverly kids right now, and I'm real proud of them. Where's Danielle Knauer fit into your lineup? Yeah, Danielle Knauer from Owen. Um Danielle is the heart and soul of our team character-wise. She is loud, excitable. She cheers all the time. Um, she right now will be pushing for that varsity spot. She made a couple of appearances last year um, in the sixth spot and ran. Um, she did a lot of off-summer work. Looks great. She has been lifting and running and eating very well. And so um, I expect her to push for that sixth spot, but we're still early to say exactly where. How do you feel like the team chemistry is uh, developing so far, especially with young and very competitive and good freshmen? Yeah, we. I mean, we've always had a good, a good um, team unity type thing going on with tennis, which is real nice. It's early right now. It's day two. We still got a lot of freshmen who miss their homes. We still got a lot of freshmen who are making that transition from high school tennis. Um, and it is. It's a big, deep transition. Um, some of the Minnesota girls are doing great. I think that they're uh, um, having gone to previous camps at Gustavus, um, helped them out a lot to make that jump. Um, but I think everybody will. We're off to Clear Lake in the morning. We're going to go practice at Clear Lake, and then we're staying. Uh, we're going camping, actually, which, as you can imagine, the girls are super excited about. Uh, so we're, they're setting up the tents tomorrow, and uh, we're off to Clear Lake and uh, practice two a days at Clear Lake High School there on their brand new courts. And then hopefully by the time we get back, I think that they're going to be together, excited, and ready for the season. I don't see any problems. Thanks, Kedra.